Good morning to everyone and our beloved teacher, Dr. Muhammad Zahi bin Hassan. Me and my group members from BMKM are here to explain about our assignment for fluid mechanics. Our group members are me, myself, Kabilan Shanmuganadan, Danish Daniel bin Muhammad Hisham, Xiao Ziu bin, Muhammad Alif bin Muhammad Fakaruddin, Muhammad Afiq Kushairi bin Rosli. Okay, now I'm gonna explain about the introduction. In this assignment, me and my group members were assigned to choose the best selection of pipe sizing and pump specification. We are given a situation as a piping engineer had already designed a piping system layout which includes a pump, cooling condenser and cooling water tower for process cooling application. Me and my group members assignment was to choose the best selection for the piping and the pump specification. It is also given that the capacity of the water is 5 minute per, per minute and the pressure drop in the condenser is 6 m of water gauge. The vertical distance between the pump center line and the top of the cooling tower is 20 m and the centrifugal is 5 m below the tower basin. We were also told the velocity in the pipe has to be 3 m s and below to avoid noise and erosion inside the pipe. Meanwhile, the temperature of the condenser needs to reduce from 160 to 30 degrees. Okay, now let me explain about the theory and the concept of piping design and pipe pump selection. Piping design and pump selection are crucial aspects of fluid handling system in various in their industries from chemical processing of water treatment. Understanding the fundamental theories and concepts behind them, it's essential for engineering and technician to design efficient and reliable system. For piping design, piping design involves determining the optimal pipe size material and layout for specific fluid flow. Key factors of, of consider include flow rate, the volume of flow, fluid flowing through the pipes per minute, flow fluid properties, velocity, density and averageness of fluid, heat loss, friction and other losses occurring as the fluid travels through the pipe. Operating pressure, the pressure at which the fluid needs to be transported. Space constraints, available space for installing the pipes. For the pump selection, pump selection involves choosing the right pump tire and also the size to meet the specific flow and the heat requirements of the system. Pump tire. Centrifugal and positive displacement are other types based on desired operating principles. Flow rate. Required volume of fluid to be pumped per time. Heat. Uh, heat. Total pressure difference the pump needs to overcome and including ablation changes and friction losses. Efficiency, ability of the pump to convert energy into useful works. Net positive suction, head. Minimum pressure required at the pump in inlets to other cavation and phenomenon that can be damaged the pump. Okay, now my other group member will explain the other parts. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and I will continue for the next of the presentation. So the next presentation is uh, methodology used in design, construction and simulation. So our concept is material selection of the dive. So 
uh, the consideration is inst- investigate aspect such as environmental effect, fatigue, strength, corrosion resistant, er- erosion resistant, and well ability in relation to fundamental compatibility. The examinees of choice material a particular fluid type such as those with the high temperature and corrosive chemical. Uh, for the cost analysis, evaluate the material by comparing their life cycle cost to original expense, taking into account potential safety hazard, maintenance need, and frequency of replacement. The guide and the rules exam, exam how industry norms and legal restriction affect the choice of material for various applications, such as high pressure system or food grade material. The second consideration is piping and piping size and flow analysis. So software tools introduce advanced software tools like commuting fluid dynamic, simulation for complex flow scenarios, and discuss about their advantages and limitation compared to traditional calculation. Uh, multiple phase flow, explore specialized approach for design pipe handling mixture of liquid, gases, or solid, understand the complex of two-phase flow and method like slug flow analysis, pump selection, interrogation, analysis how the pump selection, optimizing pipe sizing and flow dynamic, discuss method for balancing pump performance with system efficiency and minimizing pressure drop. The sec- and the third one, component selection and subrogation expert corner. The valve technology explored the advanced valve, tight and control valve, safety valve, check valve, and butterfly valve. Discuss about their function, selection criteria, and maintenance. The, the instrumentation and monitoring is to integrate the instrumentation point for, for flow, pressure, and temperature, and the other, con- other critical parameter. Discussion of the importance of selecting appropriate types on placement or effective system monitoring, fabrication and installation, consideration, understand the impact the of fabrication method, example like welding and threading, and installation technique of the pipe performance and longevity. Discuss the practice for ensuring the quality control and code compliance during construction. Uh, my name is Dennis Daniel and I will explain about the uh, simulation for this assignment. Uh, in, uh, we use uh, pipe flow expert, uh, pipe, pipe flow expert uh, software for the simulation. For the design simulation, we follow the design based on the assignment that has been given. We set up the best uh, diameter and length for each pipe uh, to get the best result based on the flow rate given. Uh, for the sim- uh, in the simulation, we have include the cooling tower, flow pipe, valve, pump, and condenser. Uh, based on the pipe flow expert result key, the velocity for our uh, velocity for our design pipe in the simulation have been achieved uh, based on the target in the assignment given. For the flow data, uh, we use water and set the temperature to the to thirty degree Celsius and the density is 998 uh, kg per meter cube and the state is in liquid for the pump data the speed for the pump is uh, 2950 rpm while the velocity is 2.5 767 meter per second. Uh, here you can see the pipe flow expert solution and the pump graph. For the pipe data, uh, the inner diameter is 202.717 mm, while the length 
all the minimum length uh, for pipe is 3.048 meter and the maximum length of the pipe is 20 meter for the for the velocity in the simulation we get 2.767 meter per second lastly here is the result of energy data for our simulation okay my name is Shobin uh, now I would like to present about the part for theoretical calculation and simulation for the pump specification and pump site selection uh, here we see the two picture these two pictures show the theoretically calculation that we use and for this uh, we just uh, since it's theoretically calculation we just use the formula that we learned in fleet and we just sub the uh, given data into the formula and uh, lastly we get the answer is at 17.5 uh, kilowatt okay next uh, now i would like to present about the suitable pipe size uh, the pipe size that we use for uh, pipe length with fuel line 4 meter condenser inlet outlet 2 meter each uh, basic overflow uh, 3 meter drain 2 meter and the friction loss calculation uh, we assume that the steel pump still pipe based on visual cubes and we refer to standard friction loss chart for the N65 uh, pipe and we calculate the loss for each section using flow velocity and pipe length uh, lastly we sum all the total in individual loss to obtain total friction loss uh, the alternative pipe materials uh, culture again accepting uh, uh, 120 f may affect and damage to pvc fuel thermoplastic and galvanized steel uh, for temperature beyond uh, 120F consult cooling tower manufacturing for material suitability. Okay, next. Uh, the part for pump head capacity and power requirement required by system. The centrifugal pump specification that we use is head range is about uh, 70 meter to 39 meter. For red range is about 2.7 meter cube per mi minute to 8.5 meter cube per minute. The efficiency peak is 71% at 31 meter head and 6.5 meter cube per minute. And lastly, the curve analysis that we get is uh, the head and flow that assess design point requirement uh, 29.295 meter and 5 meter cube per minute. And the efficiency remain decent across the operating range. Uh, lastly, the highlight we highlight the buffer in head and flow rate system requirement okay next so for the next is discussion is the discussion is about the best practice on how piping designer design pipelines the first is is to have proper pipe support and flexibility the piping system needs adequate supports to handle its wave thermal expansion and potential vibration Designers strategically place pipe supports and expansion joints to prevent stress and maintain system integrity. Second is pipe sizing. The pipe's diameter is determined through hydraulic calculation considering flow rates, pressure drops, and fluid properties. The goal is to find a balance between minimizing friction losses and keeping the pipe size economical. The third is pump selections. Pumps are chosen based on the required flow rates and head pressure that's needed to overcome system resistance. Selecting an efficient pump that operates near its peak performance point optimizes energy consumption. And the last is 3D modeling software. Piping design software like AutoCAD, Plan3D, or PDMS allows for creating detailed 3D models of piping system. This facilitates clash detection, visual, visualization of flow paths 
and enhance collaboration with other engineering disciplines. And lastly is conclusion. Based on the given head range and flow rate range with peak efficiency, the pipe sizing should be chosen based on friction losses. Choose a piping diameter large enough to minimize friction losses, especially at higher flow rates. Refer to pipe friction chart or use pipe sizing software to calculate the head loss due to friction for different pipes diameter. For pump selection, select a pump that can deliver the desired flow rate at the required head while operating close to it to its peak efficiency. efficiency. Avoid operating far from the peak efficiency point as it can significantly reduce efficiency, efficiency and increase energy consumption. For factors affecting pump output and efficiency, the operating point should be away from the peak efficiency point and that will result in decreased efficiency and potentially higher energy consumption. Regular pump maintenance should be implemented regularly to ensure the optimal performance and longer, longevity. Considering these factors and recommendations, it can ensure the optimal pipe size and pump for the system, ensuring efficient operation and minimizing energy consumption. That's all from us. Thank you.